Let's learn about the different data types in Viper. Each data type is either a value or a reference. In this video, we'll go over value types, and in the next video, we'll go over references. First of all, what are value types? Value types are data types that are passed by their values. For example, let's say that we have an unsigned integer named x, and it is equal to 1. And then we reassign variable x to a variable named y. And then we modify the variable y. For example, we add 1 to its current value. Now the big question is, what is the value of x? And the answer is, x is still equal to 1. This is because when we assigned x to y, the value of x was copied over to the variable y. So that when we change the value of variable y, it doesn't change the value of x. So that's value types. They copy variables by their value so that making a change to one variable does not affect the other variable. Let's now take a look at value types available in Viper. The first value type that I'm going to show you is a boolean, so I'll name it B, and then we'll say it's a public variable and of type boo. By declaring this variable as public, we'll be able to access this variable after we deploy it using Remix. I'll make a separate video about the different visibilities of variables. For now, let's just go over what this line of code is doing. Here, we're declaring our variable name called b. The type of this variable is a boolean, and it is a public variable, which means that we'll be able to get the value of this b variable after the contract is deployed. All right, moving on, another value type is int128. So we'll name it i, and then it'll be public, and we can declare the type as int128. The range of this variable goes from negative 2 to the 127 to 2 to the 127 minus 1. So this is the data type that you will want to use when you want to handle both negative and positive numbers. Next, we have uint256, which ranges from 0 to 2 to the 256 minus 1. And this is the variable to use when you're only dealing with non-negative numbers. In Viper, we also have decimals. The range of decimal is same as int128, and it supports up to 10 decimal places. Now, this is a useful data type that is not available in Solidity. All right, moving on, we have our address type. Bytes32, and it's useful when you want to store the cryptographic hash of something. Now surprisingly, we also have byte arrays and strings as value types. So this means that every time you copy a bytes array or a string, it will copy each element in the array. If you have a string of length 1000 and then reassign it to another variable, basically you are running a for loop for 1000 characters copying each element. Let's quickly go over what these two lines of code are doing. For the first one, bs, we're declaring a variable named bs, and it's a public variable. The data type is bytes, and this bytes is at most 100 length. Likewise, for strings, we're declaring a variable named s, it's a public variable of type string, and this variable can be at most 100 characters long. These are the value types available in Viper. Let's set these variables to some concrete value. So we'll define an init function, and the first thing that we'll need to do is say at external, and then say def two underscores init two underscores parentheses colon. Now this external means that this init function can be called from outside of the contract. And then we'll set the variable b to true by saying self.b equals true. We'll set i to minus 1 by saying self.i equals minus 1. We'll set the unsigned variable to some positive number, 1, 2, 3. We'll set the decimal to 3.14. And we'll set the address type to some random address. And then the bytes32 to also some random bytes32. The bytes array, we'll also set it to some random bytes. 
and we'll say that it's a byte by prefixing with a b double quotes slash x and then the value zero one for the string we'll say this is a string and let's make sure that this contract compiles so i'm going to open my terminal and type viper followed by the name of the contract here i named it value types and you can see that our contract compiled let's run through a demo using remix so i'm going to copy the code open remix and then activate viper next i'll create a viper file here i'll name it value type dot by paste the code and then click on the viper compiler and then click remote compiler and then click compile all right let's deploy this contract so i'm gonna click deploy scroll down and then click on the contract that was just deployed and let's check that these variables are set to these values over here address b is for boolean b32 is bytes32 bs is bytes array d is decimal note that remix does not know how to handle decimal types yet all right moving on let's check the value of int 128 it's equal to minus one the string value this is a string and the unsigned value is one two three all right so these are the value types of viper boolean unsigned and signed integers decimals address bytes 32 and also strings and bytes array the last two data types being a value type is a little bit surprising since in solidity these two types are reference types thanks for watching and see you in the next video